This is the new Rolls-Royce Phantom, the eighth model where the nameplate, only, like a Navy warship, Phantom nameplates haven't necessarily followed one directly after the other. But Phantom VIE does directly follow VI, the Roman numerals make it sound a bit more regal, presumably, which itself ran, reigned, perhaps, for 14 years of the kind that Nicholas Witchell would describe as long and happy. Anyway, the king is dead, long live the king, or meet the new boss, same as, etc. You get the idea, the new phantom is expected pick up from where the old one left off. A phantom is a phantom is a phantom, says Rolls CEO Torsten Mulratvis. He may have added another as a phantom in there. I forget. But, anyway, know that this car is the flag bearer, the top dog, the prince among men, regardless of what happens to the Rolls range in future. What will happen is that all models, Rolls's, Rollsy, not Rollers, I don't think, will be underpinned by a new platform, which finds its debut in this new Phantom. No more upscaling BMW platforms to suits lesser roles. Eventual replacements for the Ghost, Wraith Coupe and On Convertible, in the Project Cullinan SUV, will all feature this aluminium space frame but is generally 30% more torsionally rigid than the outgoing Phantoms, rising to 100% stiffer in key areas, around suspension and gearbox mounts, for example. Aluminium bodywork is crafted over the top and the body in white ends up accidentally being lighter than the old one, according to engineering director Philip Cohn, saving weight wasn't a priority. If there's a chance to improve stiffness, I take it. Quotation mark. Body stiffness brings its rewards when it comes to refinement and ride quality, see, which are the two things that should define a phantom more than anything else, and thus should set a new benchmark for the industry. So there are air springs which is probably the only sensible way to control the body movements of a 2560 kg car, 2610 kg is an extended wheelbase, which your test car isn't, despite an air-sprung car's tendency to spring, allied to adaptive dampers, although you can't influence their stiffness, thankfully, in active anti-roll bars, 12V, not 48 volt, because Rolls says the torque output is the same either way. There's rear-wheel steering, too, Offering counter steer while maneuvering of up to 3 degrees. When will I see you again? In 13.77 meters, even on the long version. Overall, the standard wheelbase Phantom is 5.76 meters long, with the EWV coming in at 5.98 meters, both shorter than their predecessors but heavier, too, because as well as Cone taking every opportunity for stiffness, he's also taken every opportunity to increase the refinement and technology levels.